Welcome to the technical analysis tab, which highlights our visual TA trends indicator. This provides two trading strategies, a low frequency and a high frequency trading strategy, which are both compared against just hodling. So that way we can see which one delivers the best return on investment. So for the low frequency strategy, if I just click view PL chart, we're able to see the ROIs generated. So on the low frequency side, we have 1,429% versus the hodling side, which would just be 406%. And if we move over to the high frequency time frame, we would be receiving a 4,234% ROI sheesh, versus just 519% on hodling. So as you can see here, the high frequency was definitely the play, but I do like to say that past performance is not a predictor of future success. So just because it delivered that in the past doesn't necessarily mean it's going to deliver that in the future. However, I will say that we are very confident in these models. And as you can see, they're just killing the game. So we definitely look forward to more success here. But if I move over just to the normal indications on the chart, we can see our bullish and our bearish indicator. I would say on the high frequency time frame, this is geared more so for like a weekly to a monthly time frame versus the low frequency trading strategy, which I would say is more so on like the monthly, quarterly, yearly time frame. So a lot less trades there, obviously on the low frequency side versus a lot more trades on the high frequency side. And I will say that, let's say they give a false indication. In this case, we went from bullish to bearish back to bullish real quick that they will correct themselves very quickly so if for some reason they make a mistake i can guarantee you that within a day or two they will make the appropriate decision so i did notice that we just flipped bearish here unfortunately i actually was not aware of that um, but it doesn't really matter to me because i'm a long-term holder so it's perfectly fine but i can say that we are working on some telegram notifications for this tool right here so that way you can be notified whenever a bullish or a bearish indication has been entered so then we move down and we have our resistance and our support levels so to go ahead and automate the levels that we do have support so as we can see here this line actually has been drawn right here and it's perfect because we're actually at this point right now so we can surmise that this most likely would be used as support however based on the chart it looks like it's going to be broken and this is going to essentially become a new level of resistance for us to break so definitely using your resistance and support levels to automate the TA combined with your trading strategy can help you make a whole bunch of different decisions in regards to how you want to proceed with your portfolio.